There is the leader, Alain Prost, in the turbocharged Renault. Number 15, 26 years old, his 20th Grand Prix. And it looks to me as though Arnoux is taking that second place. Indeed he is. Arnoux is taking the second place from Pironi. And Piquet is ahead of Villeneuve. And Alan Jones is still in sixth position. So, there it is. And Villeneuve is going to try and... And Piquet is ahead of Villeneuve now. Alain Prost leads. René Arnoux is second. Pironi is in fourth place in the Ferrari as they stream round and down towards Beckett's and Piquet, having got past Villeneuve, is right up with Pironi. We've got a situation now with the, the Ferrari's almost like jokers in the pack because the Ferrari chassis is not good. It's not up to the standard of the others, but they're making up for it with the terrific power of their engines. They've definitely got the most powerful engines on the course. But uh, you see Piquet touched right up there behind Pironi. The trouble for Piquet is, of course, that he's got... Uh, Villeneuve right behind him in the other Ferrari. He's sandwiched between them, but every time they get to a straight, he goes away. But he's got to attack. But the amazing thing is that on this, the fourth lap, Alain Prost is leading on lap four by seven seconds. And Arnu is already starting to pull away from the battle for second, third position now. There's the battle for third, and it's Pironi in the Ferrari, followed by Piquet, followed by Villeneuve, followed by Jones. Through the chicane, Arnoux, Pironi, Piquet, Villeneuve, Jones, and off goes, off goes the Ferrari, into the catch painting goes to Cesaris. Alan Jones is off. So, out of the race is Alan Jones, Villeneuve, and De Cesaris. Well, that's a and real shame. There is Andrea De Cesaris out of his car, he looks perfectly all right, and Villeneuve has rejoined the race, but Alan Jones is out of his car. World champion Alan Jones on lap five, out of the race. Watson lost a lot of ground as well. Alan Jones's car was damaged. Here we have a replay. See, Villeneuve, the third of the cars, coming now. He loses a bit on the curve. He spins the car. The Alan Jones can't avoid him behind, and the following runners, they can't see anything. A great shame for the, for, for the following drivers. De Cesare is going so well, he's had a lot of trouble with crashing. That certainly wasn't his fault. He had, uh, he's, he'll be furious about that, but, uh, but Watson at least managed to get away. You see John Watson on the left of your screen there, just about to get away. There's De Cesare looking most unhappy about the whole thing, which I, I can sympathize fully with him for. And Villeneuve's car absolutely shredded. Front wing broken, the rear wing battered, and his near side rear tyre exploded.